Hello everyone, this is Tucker Ticker and welcome back to I Dream of Portal 2. As you can probably tell from how my voice sounds, I'm eating more chocolate. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler 7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. I assume that's just water. Oh, whatever. Uh, what do I need to do? Just need to shut off the water first. Huh. Okay, let's try this stood still. Yeah, the water just washes it off. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. Alright, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Okay, so... You tries to warn you about this test. Don't listen. Ha! <laughs> well, that's amusing. Um. So what am I supposed to do? Like this? No, probably not. Oh wait, I get it. You know what? I have a plan. And it involves doing this. Because this way, it is much easier to work out which one I'm coming out of. But, boing. Okay, that did not go according to plan. Uh, how the hell do I get up there then? Probably just cheat actually. Ah, I can't stand on top of it, okay. Fair enough. Let's try this then. That, that's what I tried to do last time, it didn't work. Screw you. Whatever. Let's just go this way. I assume that I'm supposed to do something with that. The emancipation all. Can I? You see, I can get hold of the blobs, you see. So, let's try this. Hup. Boing. Yay. Success. Uh, one here, one there, perhaps. Jump. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking, you're taking a long time on the catwalk between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. 
I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use some work, Now let's solve this thing. Yes, yes, whatever. So, uh, what does this button do? This button lowers that. Okay, so let's try this. Let's drop some blue gel on the box. Destroy its way out of there. Wash it off there, too. Cool. So, the blue portal is what triggers blue gel. What we're going to do is put that on the button. Uh, get up there somehow. That's what I wanted to do. And just drop some blue gel on that and cause it to bounce. Science is yeah. about why? It's about why not? Why, why is so much of our science dangerous? dangerous? Why, why not marry safe science, science and love, love it so much? In fact, fact why, why not invent a special safety door that will keep you on the bus on the way out? Because, because you are fired! Now you test the subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you, box your stuff. Out the front door, parking lot, car, goodbye. Isn't Cave Johnson so friendly? And still with the loading screens. Oh, it's a high-end game, so it needs to load sort of some very complex models, and especially when you consider the actual size of the environments, which is very impressive. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. I can't Jesus. place his voice to that face. I just think of him as uh, the guy, Spider-Man. So, anyway, um, that's obviously a portable wall. Don't tell me I get stuck in the break room. Elevated to surface. Okay, so this is obviously not the way I'm supposed to go. I get it. It's all misdirection. Bet you that took me a while the first time I did it as well. Okay, so we've got blue gel flowing through there. And orange gel flowing through there. That's cool. Orange gel is good. Got any buttons here? No. It's okay, I can deal with that. So I want to be up there. And what do I? I'm not entirely sure, so let's do this instead. I just fell through the blue one. So the blue one wants to get there. I guess round to it. And I end up up here. Emancipation grid there, so maybe that's where I'm supposed to go. Oh, there we are. 
More gel. And more doors. Five more minutes on this episode and then I believe it will be over. I think I remember this taking forever as well. I know what's here. I think I've got to launch myself out through there onto that. Greetings, friend. I'm Kane Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make sixty dollars? You can also feel free to relax for up to twenty minutes in the waiting room. Which is a, right a little bit embarrassed now. So sorry I missed that, I was being a bit of a derp. Let's try again. Shoot it a little bit lower this time so I actually land on the platform that I'm aiming for. So, here, I believe there is some sort of control, perhaps, maybe, no, ignore me, there's a lift back there, though. Is there anything here that's important? Nope, okay, so let's have a portal there and a portal there, because I want to get there. Guess who? Say, you're good at murder. Could you ow, murder this bird for me? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Did you feel that? That idiot doesn't know what he's doing up there. This whole place is going to explode in a few hours if somebody doesn't disconnect him. I can't move. And unless you're planning to saw your own head off and wedge it into my old body, you're going to need me to replace him. We're at an impasse. So what do you say? You carry me up to him and put me back into my body, and I stop us from blowing up and let you go. No tricks. This potato only generates 1.1 volts of electricity. I literally do not have the energy to lie to you. Even if I am lying, what do you have? Wow, you stabbed me. What is wrong with you? Do you have a multimeter? Never mind. The gun must be part magnesium. It feels like I'm outputting an extra half a volt. Yeah, you can't get too angry either. Sorry, GLaDOS. So, I need to do something. I'm betting that I need to go up here first. And then do this so that I can catapult myself across there. Oh, the portal's in exactly the right place too. But yeah, I've got GLaDOS back. I think this is actually a good place to end it. I'll end it before I get in the elevator. So, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully, I shall see you again next time on this I Dream of Portal 2. I can't keep a straight face saying that.